Hello everybody and welcome back to Arts of Iron 4. No step back with the Soviet Union. So, we are still involved uh, in this tricky war against Romania. But soon this will be over. It's just a matter of time, probably. Uh, just a matter of uh, taking Cluj. And the war, the, the, the world is getting really, really full of troubles. Everything is tricky. Now, you can see that the... War tension is very high. And I think we contributed massively to this war tension, but yeah, come on, that was fun, wasn't it? Now we have the full control of Turkey, which to be very honest, uh, uh, is a little problem due to the fact that Turkey has a very high, let's say, um, resistance rate. We will use the spice to decrease it. Also Romania, I'm going to take uh, to keep both those uh, countries. I could of course decide to puppet Romania at a certain point in time, but not immediately, because I don't want this event uh, to happen. This event that will give a part of Romania to uh, Hungary. So yeah, let's see. I think I will keep it for the for the at the beginning, and then let's see what happens. Anyway, so. Soon this guy should capitulate. We have 97 victory points. And now we have also the improved machine tools. Not bad. So everything is fine. I don't want to get any fuel refining. Let's move right away. And let's research this. The close air support. Which we have to build massively. Good. Very, very good. I could give a promotion to Tukhachevsky, but as you know, well, it wouldn't be very useful. The political paranoia is extremely high. We need to be very, very lucky this time to uh, get uh, the, the, the last purge, which would decrease it by 50 points, but uh, we are already over 30%. So at any time, Stalin could do something crazy. Let's see. We have it. We have it. Woof! Up to five army leaders we get cowed by Stalin. Division recovery minus 10. Reinforce rate. And we lose to Kaczewski, Yegor of Blücher, Primakov. Um, yeah. Which means the next fair marshal will be... Budioni has been cowed by Stalin, so it will be only Voroshilov. He's the only one we can, we can use. All guard. Strategies politically connected. Um, we're gonna give him the defensive doctrine, and that's it so far. Good that the other guys survive. So now the political paranoia is 20, and we could be had the snake giving us a beautiful minus 30 political paranoia and the possibility to hire another operative uh, which will go to Mexico and kill Trotsky. Man, good. Fantastic. I'm giving too many orders here, of course, I see. Infantry expert always, when I get a promotion. Oh, look at this. There's no one here. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, 24. I like it. And the next is the dispersed industry. By the way, I started building uh, civilian factories. It's the 28th August of 37, so I am one year and a half late. But uh, when I will start focusing on industry, I will catch up uh, very, very fast. Okay, 3,200 rifles, trains and other stuff. We are going to take all the states of Romania and incorporate them into the glorious Soviet Union. So now we are kind of big. Um, and we are going to give some new orders uh, to our troops. Isn't it amazing? Perfect. 
I think I gave all the orders. Uh, what are you doing here? That's fine. Let's have a look now at the political paranoia. That should work. Let's look at this. Wow. Uh, I'm going to take now the espionage. Sorge will work, root out the resistance in Romania. And the other guy here will root out the resistance in Turkey. And let me check how much I'm getting in terms of infrastructure. So I'm getting 4.4. 2.9, around about 8. Factor is, which is not so good, but it's not so bad. And now I think I can finally use uh, Kalinin to increase my stability. And I think I will use Kalinin as a first uh, advisor. Absolutely. And this guy can be now a specialist, an infantry specialist, which is great. Okay, the stability to 7% will boost immediately our industry, political power, consumer good of factories, so stability is, is amazing. Not enough manpower, that's not a big problem to be honest. And the rest of the industry now are pushing, pushing, pushing into infrastructure and uh, soon also factories. Maybe repairing the, the factories in Turkey is better than building new ones, right? Let me see if I have issues with um, logistic. Who's this guy? Okay, in Romania we have a big, a, a lot of issues with logistic, but no one is red. Okay, I'm going to transform those NKV into regular infantry because they're just better. And now this will decrease the paranoia by five percent. But base stability minus five and war support minus five. Okay, let me see if I'm able now to continue the industrialization. Yes, finish the five year plans. That's important. That's very important. You have to do it. Let's do it. Mm, okay, I think we are going to have uh, an operative in 28 days. You know who it's going to be. We all know that. Great. Um, I don't know why I'm importing. No, I know why, because I need it. <laughs> How's it going with the logistics? So we still need 13,000 military equipment, artillery, trucks, light tanks. We need everything, but we have enough time to build it. Okay, that's great. Um, and I think I can just, I think I can just then assign an army expert, a reformer or something. Okay, let's wait and see. And if I look at the resistance map, resistance map, uh, oh, wait a second, let me think, 38. Okay, let's go to the radio detection. I see that where my spies are, it's going down. Turkey is going down now. The cavalry and the spies are helping, so it's gonna be good so what we have done now we prevented the axis to get the support of romania even if i'm not going to keep romania and i'm going to defend somewhere else i still think that this is a good point um i might consider also attacking hungary but i'm not sure if it will work out because if now i try to justify let me see i have enough political power it seems that the UK and France are, uh, yes, okay. Uh, then now we can cancel the justification. I just lost political power, but whatever. The Kingdom of Hungary now is justified by the, um, uh, the Allies, and it's fine. Uh, I, can, I can stop here. What I think I have to do is now to take Marcader and move into Mexico. And that's going to be fun. Because as soon as he have, as he has some more uh, net network, it's gonna be fun. Okay, let's look at the industry now. Dagestan. Okay, th th that's that's my favorite part. Look at this. Look at this. France and Britain announce an alliance. Look at this. I mean, 
100, 100, 100, 100, and we are producing a lot of chrome, of oil. Um, here we have a, also a lot of oil that we can produce, and we are going to heavily industrialize this area. Also, the factories will be built very, very fast. The only problem here is that we will need to launch uh, an inspection, but we will not manage. So probably Stalin, oh, that's going to be a problem. Probably Stalin will kill some of my generals now. Shit. I didn't consider it. Let's speed up. Let's see what happens. But I hate it. I really hate it. Anti saboteur campaign. Okay. Army experience minus 15% and training and equipment experience cost. Jesus. Fine. Let's have this amazing <laughs> bonus, but it's better than losing a general, to be honest. Let's go here. Um, I don't know how much time I will need to start the operation. Raid Trotsky's Villa of Subtle Assassination. Now I will go for the Subtle Assassination. I'm not sure if this will work, um, but it definitely takes less time. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, quick and dirty, or let's do it you know, in a proper way. Let's inspection the administration. No, the Navy again. Let's inspect the Navy again, of course. It's gonna uh, buy some time. And finally, we finished the five years plan. Yes. So. The next uh, uh, plan needs more factories, 120, and we don't have them yet. Let me see if I can da now... No, the block of rights and trust kits uh, needs still some time. So we go for the foreign experts, so we start industrializing our uh, country, because that will give me a massive bonus. Again, oh Jesus, naval research minus 20%. Okay, but that's naval, that's fine. Let's keep it, let's keep it that way. Let's give it that way. Excavation done. Now we go for. Um, I think. I think. I think we can start the computing machine. Absolutely. And probably it could already work. Uh, on yes, I can develop my my mines, but I don't want to do it right now. Not yet. Not yet. I need to look at the paranoia. Pity that I cannot use some uh, satisfactory reports, as they call them. Um, let's build up some more infant equipment, and now we can take develop the urals. Absolutely. And yes, and let's wait. Okay, we kill now Mikhail Tomsky. We lost Mikhail Tomsky, that, thanks God, was not part of our government yet. So now we go back to four paranoia, eight paranoia, and so on and so on. And now we have a look at the spies, because I forgot um, how is the guy doing here. I might try to storm the villa since I have a 46%. Uh, we can try to do that that way. Even if it's not historical... Um, I mean, he didn't die in a raid, but still. Let me see how to deadly if I put Marcadet. Doesn't work. It would not work. Okay. Subter assassination. Good. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that in 270 days. It's fine. I, I, I have time. I have time for that. That's going to be useful. Now, to do the fact that I have enough troops, uh, I can finally edit my, my division. Of course, 18 is something I don't like at all. I'm going to increase more infantry. <coughs> and I'm going to increase also more uh, RT. Here, I'm going to put the engineer company and I'm going to put the um, uh, cavalry recon. Save it. So, I spent some time, uh, some, sorry, some 
points, but now I need 25,000 rifles. I have the man and I need a lot, a shit ton of artillery, which I must start building as up together with airplanes and everything else. So let me see if now that I have developed the Euros, if I can start. Yes, I can. Uh, Austria has been annexed. Okay, the block of rights and trust kits will stop the purges. I think, or we'll decrease the paranoia uh, anyways. So 70 days, let's do that. While Stalingrad and Sochi keep uh, uh, building up and the rest is going into... No, the rest must go into this sort of uh, improvement. Wonderful. I mean, now I need to be uh, to build uh, civilian factories all here in, uh, in Azerbaijan. Great. Uh, I think I, I think I would manage with twenty so far. Everything is fine. I keep this power because I want to see. <sighs> I might need to do some infiltration or risk. Let's do this. Let's do an inspection in the administration. <laughs> Crazy, really. I didn't know that I would go to four. This is really crazy. This is really tough now. It's really tricky. 32%, that's, that's a problem. Let's see what the inspection will tell us. <laughs> Man. Civil servants. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't care. I don't want to have uh, this sort of malus. Oh, fuck. We're going to have a lot of issues now. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of issues, really. Radio detection, wonderful. Let's go for the radar. Wow. <laughs> I need a 25 for the satisfactory reports. Uh, yeah, I will never, I will never reach that point. Crazy. Anyways, um, the infantry equipment, as you can see, is going quite well. We are building a lot of rifles, but uh, the artillery, we will not be, we will never be ready for the war with this kind of uh, artillery. But we do our best. We need to build much more artillery, of course, and planes. So, so far we have a 36 mil and 72 civilians. We are very, very bad in terms of industry. We are very good in terms of experience, I think, military experience and uh, air, uh, air force experience, but we don't have a, a real army. At least not one uh, that can uh, defeat uh, the Germans. Let's speed up. October of 38, we, we might be able uh, to kill Trotsky. And now we keep, uh, we go ahead and we study some more spy espionage. Let me see if those guys are doing their job. Mm, let me see the resistance map mode. Yes, they're doing their job. I'm very happy, very proud of them. Satisfactory reports. Yes. Even if <laughs> it's just a little bit, we use it. We use it. Because if we resist another five days, um, these will get the third Moscow trial, and that, that worked. That worked, guys. So, we lose Vozenevsky, Litinov, Bukharin, Rikov. Which means that Kalinin remained. Yes, sir. Uh, and now, the political paranoia is no longer active. Yes, guys, we did it. <laughs> we finally stopped the political paranoia of the Stalin. Wow. Um, before starting with the cult of personality of Yovzi Stalin, which is very important, but not yet, uh, we continued the development of uh, our industry. And now I will focus massively on that. So I will also take minus consumer goods so <coughs> we can 
move more industries into the creation of uh, civ uh, civil factories and we continue that way and now as you can see we have too much uh, resources for some reason I, I think I imported too, too many resources and as soon as possible I'm going to take the Gospre Gospro Jetzkroy, uh, which is an amazing, amazing support for the industrialization. Amazing one, really. So it will help uh, uh, help us industrializing massively. Great. Good. So. Now I think we can stop for a while with the infantry uh, things. I could already start uh, resurging the medium tanks. I just want to make sure, it's a 38. I just want to make sure that I'm not losing anything in terms of, in terms of um, uh, industry. And I go for the artillery because I want to start building artillery, which is advanced, not this cheap one. So we work on it before I integrate new lines of artillery. The Eastern development is done, so now we take the USSR Academy of Sciences, which will give us an extra research slot, and that's something very good, very good to have, very, very good to have. I think I could move, let's see. I could move the resistance, uh, root out the resistance somewhere else, especially here, for example, where there is organized resistance. Why not? So the USSR Academy of Science will give us also the possibility to convert 50 points of political power into 1% of reserve speed, which is brutal, really. But uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to use it soon because I need all those points. But it's brutal anyway. It's really, really pretty really cool. A few game per oil, yeah, that's a, that would be great, but maybe it's better if I research now uh, the tanks. Let's let's go for the tanks, it's going to be useful. And finally, I can do this. So the Gostro at the moment gives us plus 10% in railway and infrastructure, 5% in mill, sieve and dockyards, which is okay. But I will be able now to go for the German experts, that, that, which will give me production efficiency growth plus 5%. And I'm going to take those. Uh, I just need to improve the relations with them. And then I will start having an industrial agreement. So also my industry will get better. So civilian factories, amazing. Uh, let's continue where I have the 100%. Um, not the 80, the 100%. Okay, we, uh, then it means that th th those infrastructures should be also boosted because I'm not going to build if I have less than 100% infrastructure in, in, in a region. Uh, I think I will go for the medium with, the, with this discount. And uh, I'm going to take the logistic company. Fine. So we will have the USSR Academy of Science, which will me which will help me also with the um, anti-air reserves. And then we continue and we go to the third five-year plan. Production efficiency growth plus five percent, industrial concern minus fifteen, and then some discounts. I think that that's okay, then we will go for the cult of, uh, cult of personality of Joseph Stalin, but later. No, the anti-air upgrade, it's early. So I think I can work on this infantry equipment. Why not? Why not? Why not? So, so far I'm ignoring the Baltic and Finland, because I, th I was thinking that maybe keeping Lithuania um, independent would give me for sure, less territory to defend, which is not bad. Let's see what can happen. 
and now we can call really the the German experts as soon as I have 30 political points. And then this uh, Gospro Jeskroy will give me really this plus 5% production efficiency growth. That's that's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, talking about the fourth international, this is September. In October, we will see what happens to Trotsky. Bam. Okay. In 90 days, the German experts will come here and support our industry. Wonderful. Wonderful. Interwar artillery is also there. This is also wonderful. So now we can study the 107 millimeters and we can get also discount on the medium tank, which is a technology of 1941, but we can take it because uh, we have this agreement with Germany. And that's going to be our tank. It's going to be our tank and it's going to help us a lot. So now we can focus also to the military high command and get more experience, more military experience. Our trench warfare <laughs> needs, needs experience, right? Okay, the fir third five years done. Okay, the cult of personality will give us political power and uh, another uh, propaganda manifesto. Can we call it that way? So now I don't need anything of this. I would prefer to have 50 uh, points. And Trotsky has been, let's say, uh, fixed. Um, so now we have only a minus 5% stability, but uh, that's fine. Let's take this guy and root out the resistance also in Turkey. So now let's push this resistance here and then we will move into Germany and try to steal some technology and, and other funny things. Fine. Okay, uh, I, I, I go to four as a, as a speed. Vatunin, infantry division attack plus five, infantry division defense plus ten. Wonderful. And an extra experience. And the next one might be Konyev. Konyev, uh, enemy air support and more experience. Not bad. We must support them in any way we can. Uh, or China refused to support and we increase the relations with Japan. No, I don't care. Okay, finally, 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 we don't have the issues. What is this? The Politburo gives me political power plus 15. The advisor cost minus 15. Base stability plus five. Oh, not bad. Not bad, but... I prefer to go now on the left, reorganize the heavy industry because I will have uh, some discounts with industry and electronics and minus 2% uh, consumer goods. I think it's better. And I see that now I need to uh, build more civilian factories. So here I have a 100. Also here I have a 100. And I think that's it so far. So then let's build infrastructures where I have uh, uh, steel. So from 48, we will have 58. And it's not bad. Um, look at this Aurel. It's going to give me so much. Yes, let's, let's still go uh, to infrastructure and, and civil factories. Then in 1939, things will change. Political power gain? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Wonderful. So now we have uh, 93 civilian. I think I can reach easily 130 civilian factories and then turn into military. Then I will convert some of those civilians later on. Um, and I think I will have also enough time to build some defenses and airports and radars. They're, they're also very important before the Germans realize what I'm going to do. And now that it's December of the 38th, look at this construction with a discount. Yes, let's take it immediately. 
now we go back to industry as you can see but we have four research branches this is gonna help so industry and tanks amazing and now let me take um Konev, our last military specialist and now we increase our experience 0 22 per day what oh great thing now that i have this i can really give 15 more factories to the artillery so when we will start building artillery we will have it enough we'll have enough of it and look at this now we have a lot of uh, infantry equipment that is stockpiling we will use it next one political power when we have 50 we will decide to specialize the gospel into military industry which will give another five percent factory output and another five percent military factory construction speed or civilian which i'm going to do that will decrease another consumer goods by five percent that's amazing and now i would need more industry here let's take the steel casting industry because now our industry will, tra will be transformed in something massively powerful, massively powerful. So it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. <coughs> so in 90 days, our consumer goods, we will have a minus seven because of the Gospro and because of the line that we picked on the five years plan. So now the five years plan is really good. Uh, let me check it. So minus five, 15 percent industrial concern cost, construction speed for civilians plus five, production efficiency cap plus five, production efficiency go minus 10 and not minus 15. Not bad. And let's continue with the tanks on this line. And we finish this episode with the steel casting industry that okay it will give us more steel more factories and uh, the factory output plus five percent is also massively good so I, I think it's great then we could go for the synthetic rubber or oil production but actually i don't think it's the case i think i would prefer to go to the industrial modernization but i need the two extra factories so by the way where is the 100 that we have just prepared one is here and the other is here not bad not bad at all not bad at all i think i can take the next um the next focus let me see by the way czechoslovakia has been next yes industrial modernization let's do this and now 89 days for the advanced machine tools it's great let me see if i can hire another not yet uh the theorist i can take shaposnikov which is giving me a 10 percent discount on the doctrines and i'm going to use it soon and i think that now i have 103 civilian factories by april 39 and we are going to keep doing civilians for a while and then we will move everything into military and that's gonna be fun thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it in the case please leave a thumbs up and we we'll see each other next time